These are part of the hundreds of thousands of Ugandan innovators as well as small and medium enterprises that are eager to have known barriers to production and markets eliminated. Thank you, Max. We are closely working with the Uganda National Bureau of Standards to put up the paper standard, especially for most of our products. Our vision is to see Silverback regionally recognized and actually not embarrass anyone holding our bottle to the house party for celebrations. But with the constraints of affordable financial access apart, the Uganda Development Bank says to now attempt equity financing for resilient small and medium enterprises aimed at propping them up. UDB will take 5 billion shillings out of its capital and invest it as equity in viable projects. This revelation comes on the heels of the iGrowth Accelerator Survey 2017, which indicates that limited innovations, inclusive of technologies, is contributing to Uganda's large import bill by way of machinery and equipment. If we can scale up even a quarter of the innovations we have here by supporting those innovators, supporting the small scale industry that we are grooming, we will save our economy. And so what we are doing as Ministry of, of Finance is going to impose higher taxes on imports where we have products available here in the local market. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.